What's cracking YouTube? My name is Brody and welcome back to part number two of my Ancient Origins booster box opening and let's go. So in the last part I sorted uh, the pack arts out into their like so they're all together just like that. So let's whoops Hooper don't you fall over on me. So what we came to was there was 10 packs of the Primal Groudon and 10 packs of the Rayquaza. So we started off with the um, 10 packs of the Primal Groudon. And now in this part I'm going to crack open into these 8 packs of the Hooper Unbound. And then in the third part we're going to go back to the Shiny Rayquaza. And then in the fourth part we're going to open up Ty Mega Tyranitar. But yeah, without further ado, let's go into these 8 packs. So if you guys have not seen part number one of this booster box, I'll leave a link on the screen or in the description below, so you guys can check that out. I suggest you do. The town, Curlia, Level Ball, a reverse rare Volcarona. That's sweet. And before watching this part, because I may, I may um, hint out some spoilers throughout this part. I'm sorry if I do, and you haven't seen it, but my bad. That's all I'll say. My bad. We got an NK, we got an Eco Arm, we got a Blossom, Dangerous Energy, a Gumi, and a Vesquin Ancient Trait Rare. So we couldn't kick it off strong, but can pack number two bring in the goods for us? Because I'm hoping and praying. But we have officially, after five boxes, uh, four boxes and nine packs, we have finally completed the reverse set, which is just insane. It took a lot longer than what I thought I, what I thought it would for a 98 card set. But then you take off the ultra rares for the reverse set. You know what I mean? So that's a lot of cards taken off, and it took us this long just to get that reverse red eye. So we got a reverse Anfro Spirit Link and a Hollow Vocal Rona. You just see it there. Look at my skin. I have the worst hands if you didn't notice. My I have this skin peeling issue. People call it dermatitis but I don't think it is. I think it's like chemicals that I work with at work eating away at my skin. So sorry about that for you guys watching. I wish I had better hands, but I can't help that. I can't help that. But let's go. Pack number three, I think. Starts off with the Meowth, Oddish, Malamar, Porygon, Golurk, Whimsicott. Whoops, two cards. We got uh, Tyranitar Spirit Link. We got Gloom. And if you didn't get why I call it Dribble Face, obviously it's got Dribble coming out of its face and the attack drool and my nails need cutting too that's horrible and we got a septile spirit link and the regular rare reggie steel regular rares so let's see this hooper hooper pack art so far is not showing us any love like primal groudon did but that's the test that's what i'm going for i want to i want to see if the pack art certain pack arts get better pulls and so far in this whole case I'm pretty sure that the primal ground on pack art has got me the best pulls but that's just in this case it could vary from case to case and there's a regular rare red dress. could vary from case to case but I don't know I don't know the only way to see is if I um if I bought another case of Ancient Origins and sorted it all out and stuff. But yeah, so we got a Weeper, Rops, Magikarp, a Golit, Larvesta, Rudum, Hexmaniac, and Matang, a reverse unknown, and a Registeel. So that's two in this part. So it looks like Hooper, this Hooper pack art may be the dud pack art of the box. But we will see. Two, three, one, two. You can actually kind of tell, because the see the border of the rare and the reverse? 
completely different colors. When it's an ultra rare, I think it's the same color. So you can you can kind of get a good see that that's a lot darker than what that is. But anyway, nice little fun little visual fact that I've been noticing that the ultra rares tend to be the same color. I don't know why the print is darker. It's just how it is. And we got a Dangerous Energy and a Gudra Hollow. Okay, so that one was a hollow, but it still had the darker background. That's interesting. Here we go, Gudra. So that's two hollows. One more hollow will uh, break even with what I was expecting to get in each pack art. Should be getting one, um, three hollows per pack art, or three pulls just in general. Starting this pack off with a Lava Esther, Porygon, Persian, Eevee, Unknown, Ariados, Eco Arm, Metang, a Whimsicott Reverse, and a Volcarona Ancient Trait. It's not bad art. I don't mind looking at this card because I love like the pet these like power rings. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I like the look of it. And the final pack for this part. Obviously, it's the Hooper Packer. And for you guys that have watched this far, there's your reward. Let me know what you get in the comment section below. If you get anything, or if you can comment and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> so we have Ralts, a Magikarp. Whoops. We got a Meowth, a Fated Town, Blossom, and for a Spiritlink. A Hexmaniac Reverse and a Metagross Ancient Trait. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing by going off that, that the the pack arts that have eight packs are going to be down one shiny, which means the next part, which will be the Rayquaza pack art, should contain about around right about four pulls, which should be pretty. Pretty sweet to see. I wonder what we will get on the next Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, so they're the pause of this part. If you enjoyed this opening, uh, make sure you hit that like button down below. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think of this kind of like pack pack organizing analysis kind of opening in the comment section below. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in part number three. Peace.